Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well today we're going to take a look at something in an article that came out 14 hours ago. And to be honest with you, it's a bit like, hmm, is the industry and is all the media websites finally going against, yeah, maybe getting rid of Amber Heard is a good thing. Because we have this. This is coming from Screen Rant. Aquaman's controversial AH changes have one subtle silver lining. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom made changes to an important character. Not really. But there are a few reasons why it could benefit the film's central story. Despite the legal battles, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom cuts down Amber Heard's role, which could lead to more intriguing storylines for Arthur Curry. Director James Wan already reduced her role before the trial, focusing more on Arthur and Orm's bromance. Two scenes involving her were cut, including a fight and a love scene. Although there are behind-the-scenes issues and negative early test screening reviews, the film holds promise with its narrative, featuring Aquaman as a parent and the team-up between Aquaman and Orm. However, early reactions suggest it may not meet expectations. Now, if you remember, back in the trial, we actually had Walter Hamada state, no, the story going forward was always going to be Arthur and Orm in the second film. The first film was going to be Mera and Arthur. That's how they've worked out the trilogy. Even though it's no longer a trilogy, this is in fact the last Aquaman movie because Jason Momoa has signed up to play Lobo for DC instead of Aquaman. But that's another video when we get more confirmation on it. Aquaman and Lost Kingdom has made several changes to Amber Heard's role in the upcoming DC film, and there are a few positives to take from her reduced role. Her name has been in headlines in recent years due to the legal battle between her and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. She wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post in 2018 in which she indirectly accused Johnny Depp of DV. I do like how now that all these places are actually saying, yeah, she accused him. This is what's going on, and to be honest with you, it's now a good thing, but it's a little bit too late, don't you think? Johnny Depp sued her for defamation, leading to a highly publicized trial. The court sided with Johnny Depp. Following the trial, it was unclear if the proceeding would have any impact on her role as Mera. The film had finished shooting already. Remember, 2021 is when they started filming and everything else. January of 2022, James Wan, Jason Momoa, and Patrick Wilson, who plays Orm, put out a selfie. Final day of reshoots. That was it. They had to go back twice more for reshoots, which is very uncanny for a huge blockbuster. They normally put in one or two reshoots to get a couple of scenes. Right, if this doesn't work in test screenings, maybe we can ramp up the comedy here, do an extra scene here and there. But when you have three of them, and you literally go back after a year of already finishing your reshoots, something's wrong with the film. It does say about obviously recasting her would have been an expensive and lengthy process. However, a report from Variety suggests multiple scenes involving her were cut, and her role was significantly reduced, despite previous comments suggesting no changes were made. Still, her reduced role could lead to more interesting storylines with Arthur Curry. It does say by there, obviously, Aquaman's romance cut makes its hero family story more interesting. Questions have surrounded it regarding how much of her character would be in the film. Director James Wan told Entertainment Weekly her role was already reduced before the trial, saying he wanted to focus more on Arthur and Orm, describing the sequel as a bromance action-adventure movie. There might be more to the story because Variety shared at least two of her scenes were cut. One was reportedly a fight between Mera and Black Manta, while the other was a love scene between her and Jason Momoa. Yeah, that doesn't exactly scream, oh my god, that's moving the plot forward. Now it does say again, obviously like we did talk about it, that she was a prominent character in the first film, the secondary role here may benefit its main hero. In the trailer, it's revealed that Arthur is now a father, in addition to being a husband in the King of Atlantis. With her being sidelined, it could lead Arthur taking on parental duties by himself, leading to an intriguing arc for his characters. He used to run from responsibility, and now he has to approach it head-on as father and king. And it goes on there, says obviously without her, gives him more independence and opportunities to prove his heroism. And it says obviously why this Aquaman 2 story intrigue makes its early reception sadder. You know, we've had a lot of stuff on this channel where we have covered test screenings regarding this film. And let's just say 
They are not too kind, you know? We've spoken with a lot of uh, scoopers as well who have said it's a stinker, which is kind of sad because the first film I do like. Even though she's in it, I don't like her, but the film, I do like it overall. And it's just sad to see that they've kind of gone from a good film into, yeah, we're on test screening number eight and it's abysmal. That's sad to see. But I do think with this one now, because James Gunn and Peter Safran has taken over as the heads of the DC studios, they're like, we don't care about this film anymore. And that's just why they've kind of gone, yeah, go on, do whatever. We'll just release it like they did with The Flash, you know, which bombed hard. Unfortunately, the production for Aquaman 2 has been anything but smooth sailing, as there are many stories behind and about behind the scene issues. Additionally, the reactions to early test screenings haven't been promising, like we've just said. According to the Direct, which gathered various early screening reviews, the early consensus for this film, it's boring, not as good as the first, and potentially one of the worst DCEU movies. Of course, early screening reactions don't always match wider public opinion. It's That's kind of true, because when you look at The Flash, came out this year, you had so many people... It's one of the greatest superhero films ever made. It's so good. It's so funny. The action scenes are amazing. It came out and it's just like, whew, who made that pile of shit? That's how bad that film is. And it's sad because it's got Michael Keaton in, my Batman, my generation. And to be honest with you, Michael Keaton is the best thing in that movie. That is it. And when he's on screen, it's great. When you see Barry go down into the Batcave, it's great because it's 89 Tim Burton Batman. That's why. When he's not on screen, it's a little bit shitty, you know? But it does carry on as well. This is disappointing, especially since there's a lot of promising regarding this film's narrative. Not only is there the concept of Aquaman as a parent, there is the unlikely team up between Aquaman and his brother Orm, who will learn to work as brothers rather than enemies. Additionally, there is also the return of Black Manta who is seeking vengeance on Arthur and now wields the Black Trident. <sighs> Aquaman 2 could be a potentially great send-off for the DCEU, but early reactions suggest it could be dead in the water, which I think that is true. It's not exactly going to be great because, well, when you've had so many test screenings, you've gone back for so many reshoots, and especially when it's over a year after you've actually completed reshoots, they're like, yeah, we need more you know it's going to be a stinker. But let me know down below, folks. Do you think reducing her role is going to be any good for people? Not for me. I won't see it. The only way I'll watch this is if it's on TV one day, and that's going to be like a year or two down the line. When you have someone like her, and you got so many people, over 4 million people, remember, have signed the actual waiver to get rid of her, if Peter Safran just said, you know what, we're going to get rid of her, this would have made over a billion maybe a billion and a half like that, because people would have gone to see it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, do all that lovely stuff, and I'll see you all soon.